The greatest tragedy that human beings are going through is just this. Their sensory perception gives one-sided perception. So life becomes a heap of opposites or contradictions. This is why always in yoga, Brahma Murtam, you should be up. So in the, the greatest predicament that a human being faces and the greatest tragedy that human beings are going through and the greatest struggle that all humans seem to be toiling with is just this. Their sensory perception gives one-sided perception. If you see this, you can't see this. If you see light, you can't see darkness. If you hear sound, you can't hear silence. So life becomes a heap of opposites or contradictions. Trying to wade their way through these contradictions, how much suffering, unbelievable. How much confusion, how much struggle. If this nearly eight billion people, if you document what kind of suffering they're going through in one year or in one day, just one day, it's enough for eternity. All this is simply because they have misunderstood instruments of survival or as instruments of knowing. You must know which is light and which is darkness if you want to walk through this. You must know which is man, which is woman if you have to operate in the world. So these differences are very one-sided. Well, in many ways I have said this, now it's become a bit uh, too common for everybody to know this because I have been speaking about this for some time. Well, you are sitting here as a man or a woman, but you came here because a man and woman came together. Your mother and father exist within you. You being a woman or a man is just a surface thing, but you've taken it so seriously. And you go through a whole lot of circus. Just being a man or a woman, how much circus in the world? Forget about light and darkness, that's more complicated. <laughs> Gender is the simplest damn thing. But how much struggle, how much social confusion, how many religions and scriptures have been written about this misunderstanding endlessly? This is just that because between light and darkness, you think they are two different worlds because it looks like that. The day looks like one kind of world, this planet looks different during the day. During the night, it's a completely different world, but it is not, it's the same world. I think you get that point during twilight to some extent. This is why it's always important to wake up before the sun comes up, because you don't have to do anything. If you're just alert and looking, slowly the perception will go into you. This is why always in yoga, Brahma Murtam, you should be up because twilight starts then. In twilight, if you're awake, you perceive that the differences that you have made out in your mind because of misperceptions of senses that you have settles within you. When that happens? When? When? When a man is woman, bird a flower, Red is blue, life, death, twilight. When did this poem happen? <laughs> when? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I think this was about uh, 2019 when I was uh, in United States, uh, our Triple I, the Isha Institute of Inner Sciences, is a spectacular place nature wise. We are yet to build. We built some, lot more to build there. But in terms of nature, it's a truly spectacular place and where I stay, you just cannot escape the sunset. The sun is 
at you because we are on top of a bluff and there is a valley, when the sun is setting, sun is in level with you. Like this usually happens only at the ocean, even there there will be a little bit this thing. Here, sun is below you when it is setting. So you cannot escape sunset at all, even if you want to. So as I was watching the sunset, I saw this is the thing that everybody is missing. It's not about the glory of the sunset. It is a clear transition where this and that is not there. There's only this and this. <laughs>